Hello and welcome to the Crypto Rocket channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use your Exodus wallet that we built in Tails in the previous video and access the internet with it so we can receive transactions, send transactions and also exchange if we want to. So in the previous video I did say we could use Torify to do this. Having tested this it doesn't work very well if at all. So I've done some testing and I've found we can actually use proxy chains to do this. So in this video, I'll show you how we can install proxy chains, use Exodus through proxy chains. It's very simple to do. Okay, so let's get started. So you need to boot your tails with the persistent storage and with the admin password. And you also need to install the Exodus wallet. So I'll link the um, video to the first part of the video and I'll put the card up now if you haven't done that already. So once we have Exodus installed, I'll just open the terminal. So I'll just open up Exodus quickly. So this is the Exodus wallet. And if we go to the developer menu, if we hold control shift D and press developer and go to open developer tools, if we go to the network tab, we can see here all of the failed queries. So it's trying to do all these HTTP requests to get all of the data for all of the, um, uh, you know, live fees, what the prices are of all the different coins. Uh, obviously if we wanted to send or receive, everything would be blocked. So the reason this is being blocked is because the traffic's not being routed through the Tor network. So how do we overcome this? I'll close down Exodus. So we need to install proxy chains. So to do that, we can do sudo apt-get install proxy chains. And we also need something called DNS utils. Enter. Just type our password in. Go ahead and press Y. Give it a minute to install. Okay, so once installed, I'm going to go install every time so I don't have to do it each time I boot into my Tails machine. I just hit a clear there. So now all we need to do is type proxy chains exodus. What that will do is that will now open up exodus through proxy chains. And what proxy chains will do is it has the Tor proxy by default. So what we'll now see is we'll now see some prices coming. So we can see Bitcoin, Ethereum. We couldn't see these before. And if we click on one of them, click on Bitcoin, for example, go to the price chart. See, we can see the price chart. So now it's connecting to the internet and getting all of the stats. To double verify this, we can go back to the developer menu, control shift D, developer, open developer tools, network, and now we can see all of our requests are getting through, and you can see the time it's taking as well, and there are 200 successful requests. Okay, so that concludes this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'd appreciate it if you subscribed, liked the video, and turned on notifications. Thank you.